Hi guys, I'm Juliana, and I'm in the driver's seat. I'm Zach, and I'm in the back seat. This is Fallout 3. And we're doing it wrong. Alright, so last so, time... Uh, I'm like 90% sure I've fixed all of the crashing issues we've been having, so we should be able to, to do Good better. To yeah. Um, if they don't have a name, they're not important. Up in crater side supply can help you. Oh, okay. Watch out so if they're just Megaton Settler, yeah. whatever. But if they have an actual name, that's when there's someone that's worth talking to. Okay, and then there's like this water stuff. Yeah, you just you you drink, you get four HP and eighteen radiation. Yeah. What are you? Salisbury steak. It's health. It's health without rads. Yeah. Um. It's a weapon. Or no, it's not. No, that's knife and a fork and. Yeah, and that is empty. So. Empty, 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 empty. Okay. I'll... I, I, I let you go. Okay. Act, activate sink. Oh wow. I kind of am interested in that. You're a little low on health, so it's worth a shot. For three, 30 HP for three rads, it's not bad. Yeah. Sure, that's... That sink is broken. Ah. And then that does nothing, and... That's an empty trash can. Okay. Out you go. Always look for sinks, apparently. But it's... It's... Fixed. Well, right. That's common house. Yeah, we needed to go to the bar. Yeah, there's Moriarty's. Yeah. Are you are you a named somebody? Megaton nope. Settler. I want to keep hitting shift, and then I realize this is sprinting. The, yeah, you are running. <laughs> Don't go that way. That's that's pick. the locked door. The employee entrance. Don't want to do that. Very hard lock. I am going the wrong way. Okay, right, fine. Well, Moyardi's, if that's that's it. So I got up, up and around instead of just. Sure. <sighs> Let's pretend like there's more than one way to skin a cat. There's the men's room. I can go into the men's there room. There is the men's room. You should probably go into the men's room. Hey, look. I can go into the men's room because it doesn't matter. It's the post-apocalypse. Who gives a fuck? Urinal. Wow. Yep. Women's toilets, however. No boxy detergent. Yeah, it doesn't do anything because it's just junk. Yeah, okay. Bathtub's broken. Four rats. This is four health, 18 rats. Three health, three rats. Blah. Is there anything in the locker behind you? Nope. Of course not. Oh, there's something in the garbage can. Nothing good. E. Not A. Okay. Oh. So that could, uh, uh, he's they just got, he's, he's it, in the bathroom. Yeah. He's taking a piss. Leave the man alone. Yeah. <laughs> like, mm, I could, but I'm not gonna. The fact that they just orb kind of into the wall. Huh? Yeah. Oh, uh, hold R. There you go. I remembered how to put your weapon away. So now you're not coming off as aggressive to everyone? Oh, look. Another one of your pampered vault assholes. Look here, vault asshole. I don't like you. Stay clear of me and we'll have no trouble. Well, fuck you too, buddy. All right, um. None of your fucking business. Well, then. What the fuck ever? Heh, <laughs> yeah, right. I don't think so. He told you what's God up. Goddamn right, never mind. There ain't much to tell. I used to live out in the wastes. Was a real bastard back then. Back then, I put all that behind me. What? Back out where? I 
left all that behind me. There's nothing but bullshit out there. Killing, stealing, violence. I'm not that guy anymore. So this is a guy who's holding a shotgun. It's an assault rifle. How, how do you want to play that? Nah. Yeah, you're right. Stupid idea anyway. Me? I don't do a damn thing. Well, unless you count staying pissed drunk and making Moriarty rich or something. Sure, I'm the best shot in town with the rifle, so everyone comes running to old Jericho when the raiders show up. But between raids, they're content to take my money and drag me home when I've had too much. Hmm. <laughs> so much emotion. Yeah. So much emotion. <laughs> a little drinking money might loosen my lips a bit. Give it a try. See what happens. I'll give him ten caps. Do I have ten caps? Apparently I have ten caps. You probably... It wouldn't let you... I don't think it would let you do it if you didn't. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> You're gonna have to do better than that, kid. Thanks for the drink, though. Screw you. Yeah, it's time for you to say, yeah, peace Come out. Come back if you need something. The same damn thing. I told you, Gob, it ain't the radio. The Enclave station comes in fine. It's Galaxy News. Their signal's been shit lately. Oh, come on. Pay more attention to what you're doing. Is that... Hello? Damn it. You just come leave on. that thing alone, Gob. God. Hey, Smoothskin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Wait. You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me, not even berate me a little bit. Well now, that's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. A little Listen, kindness goes a long way. I already'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Yes! Woo! <laughs> Oh, yeah. I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. Moriarty's your best bet. I wish you luck. Now I have to get back to work or I'll be answering to him, too. That's probably Moriarty. No. My, my. Just when I'd all but given up hope. My dear girl, I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. I, well, I don't want to punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and you. Well, you are not a resident of this putrescent cesspool. That makes you a rather valuable individual. Don't you see? You're a free agent. You have no ties here, no interest in this settlement's affairs. Megaton means nothing to you. I represent certain interests who view this town, this megaton, as a blight on a burgeoning urban landscape. If this settlement were to go away, why, who would really care? Certainly not you or oh. I. Huh. Uh, do you want to play that one? Like, go on, I'm listening is, is like, huh? It'll give you a quest, that's for sure. Right. Wait, you're going to destroy the town is kind of how I would phrase that. That still opens the conversation without shutting it down. Mm-hmm. Or that's... just tell him to fuck off. Right. 
I, I have the feeling that if I tell him to go fuck off, bad things are going to happen to me. It's a slight moral conundrum. So I'm going to go with the middle road here. <laughs> Play dumb. Yep. <laughs> Play dumb and uh, not so bright. Yeah, you're going to what now? Yes. No, no. I'm merely a recruiter. You get to have the real fun. The undetonated atomic bomb for which this town is named is still very much alive. All it needs is a little motivation. I have in my possession a fusion pulse charge. Once rigged to the bomb, it will be detonated by you at a secure location. Easy money, my friend. How do you want to play it? Okay. Uh, I mean, you could straight just tell him Sims wants to... Yeah, Sims wants me to disarm the bomb. Hey, no. He does. I do have that quest, and I think I want that quest, just because I don't want to kill people. Because even the crazies... I will tell you, this town can be handy. When you, when you first got to the wasteland land and walked in the opposite direction, I was like, uh... Okay. Because uh, yeah. if you don't go to it right away, you eventually can't go to it. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So basically somebody else takes the job. Got it. I think. Maybe. I don't know Seems the exact... He's an idiot. Yeah. He prides himself on his position as mayor and sheriff of this scrapyard. Hmm. I don't for you. I mean, it's yeah. a legitimate question. What do you get out of it? Yeah. You mean, besides doing the world a favor by removing this pestilent scab of a town? Why, you'd be rewarded most handsomely. My employer yeah. is a very generous man. If it's bottle caps and luxury you're seeking, you shall have it. Um... I'm not gonna tell him that it's under my protection because that's not. <laughs> You're not strong enough for that. Correct. <laughs> uh. I just tell him you not. I mean, yeah, you can it... do. You can do whatever you want. Uh, there's no way I'm helping you. Now that is a disappointment. Well, if you change your mind, the offer still stands. Good day. Oi. Oi, bay. Okay. You still gotta find Moriarty. I know. What's happening? That's Megaton Seller. Are you a lady? Talk to my Nova. Nova is somebody important we've heard about, hey right? there. Yeah, I remember that man. I saw him talking to Moriarty. Hard to forget handsome men like that. Hmm. Yeah, I'll help you. Then Moriarty kicks my sweet ass out the door. Sorry, kid. If you want to know more, Moriarty is the only one who's gonna help you. Fine. Talk to Gob. He hates Moriarty more than I do. Maybe he'll tell you something, but I doubt it. We already talked to Gob. Yeah. Well, what's the story with the ghoul? Who? Gob? <laughs> well, if you can get past how he looks, he's a sweetheart. Colin's awfully hard on him, though. Um. Uh. What? She's a hooker. Right. I got that. <laughs> Sorry, allow me to go. Do you ever, you know, work with them? Yeah, I got it. I, I'm not going to ask that question. <laughs> hey, you ever fuck the ghoul? Uh, um. Well, it's the miserable bastard is hard on all of us. The gob gets it the worst. I guess just because he's different, you know? You don't talk about it much, but apparently there's a whole city of ghouls somewhere down in D.C. 
I've yeah. mentioned his mother a couple of times, but other than that, he won't really say. He's been here for, oh, I guess about 15 years now. Ever since Moriarty bought him off those slavers. Let's talk about something else. Sure thing, baby. What did you have on your mind? Am I gonna ask, uh... Uh, da 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 Huh? Oh, you mean why was Gob banging on that radio? Well, out there in the wastes, there are two stations that broadcast. There's the Enclave station. I don't know who they are, but I think it might just be some pre-war broadcast on the loop or something. Mm. And there's Galaxy News Radio. It's run by a guy named Three Dog, somewhere down in D.C. But the signal went down a while ago. Hmm. You serious? Oh, you must have come from that vault, right. Yeah. It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, is like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. All right, I think that's everything. Mhm. Mm Goodbye. I'm really upset that you can't really listen to GNR. Hmm. Like the, like part of the Fallout Three experience is just having uh, Galaxy News Radio on full blast the entire time you're just okay. running around the wasteland. Because it's all like. You know, classic, like, 50s songs. Right. Super kitschy, you know, the song at the beginning. Right. Unfortunately, because we're playing this on YouTube, it's all copyrighted. Get the fuck out of my face. Hey. I'm just going to find Moriarty. Hey. Not him. That's Nova again. That's Nova. And How she ended up downstairs before you is... Strange. Odd. Good, Nova. Yeah, honey. What do you need? Hey, how's it going? Lucy West. I don't recognize you. New in town or something? That'd be it. Sure am. I hope by something to do you mean a job. Otherwise, you want to talk with Nova. I'm looking for someone to make a delivery. Interested? I'll need some details before I can decide. Probably a good idea. Hey, you're pretty smart for a wastelander. I need you to deliver a message to my family. They live in a small settlement northwest of here. If you bring it, I'm sure my dad will pay you. I'll tell you more if you agree. Please, I could really use your help. Just a girl trying to write home. Sure, why not? Like, that's a good reason. Yeah. Except I'm going to be like, you know when your dad tries to shoot me later? And then he realizes I'm carrying a note and then pays me because he shot me. That's a little different. Great. I'd like you to deliver this message to my family in the Arafu settlement. Oh, yeah. I haven't heard from them in months, and I'm worried. As soon as you get there, talk to Davis West. He'll be glad to pay you for the trip. Sure. Be glad to since you're doing me a big favor and all. Arafu is northwest of Megaton, on an old overpass over the Potomac. Oh, shit. If you follow what's left of the river, you can't miss it. Okay. No, not really. Maybe my letters just aren't arriving. Whatever you can do to get it there would sure be appreciated. Well, let's see. There's Evan King. He's like the sheriff of the town or whatever. Then there's my family, the Ewer family. And a lady who lives alone named Karen Shenzi. What? Apart from the wasteland critters, labor raiding parties, raider hit squads, and occasional landmine? <laughs> no, it's completely safe. If this was easy, I'd go myself, you know. <laughs> She's got a point. Okay. Let me talk to you about something else, and that's it. Yep. Hey, thanks again for doing this for me. It means a lot. Yeah, and I die because of it. Thanks so much. Well, maybe. You don't know. You're sweet, Megaton Settler. Really Megaton Settler. Check back. Level. If it were up to me. 
You can go wherever you want. As long as you don't yeah. take stuff, you're fine. No one wants anything to do with a crusty old wasteland rat like me that's in there getting kept. Hello. I understand. Bye. No, apparently Moriarty, uh, Moriarty is not in. It would seem. Don't look at me like that. So what's in that door Mr. behind Gob? Moriarty. Oh. Hello to you. Oh, Jack door. Tamper with that and we're going to have a problem. Yeah, what the hell do you want? Mm -hmm. There he is. Can I talk to him? Yeah, I, I was about to hit it and then went red. Colin Moriarty, at your service. Welcome ah. to Moriarty. My Let's see my my home, my or slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got this the cups, bearish. I've got your pleasure. Please sit down and make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. You're a lying bastard. My God, it's you. The little baby girl all grown up. Persistent little flower, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. Oh, your daddy passed through here all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Do I want to give him that information? Uh. How do you, I mean. Uh. With, what's, yeah. Like, I want that information, but I don't want to owe Moriarty for that. Well, remember, Based you can. On... Think of it from a role playing experience. You are playing a character. What is your character thinking? Oh, shit. Your but I've also heard about what Moriarty does, and him having that information over me <laughs> means I owe him. So, as, as my role-playing character person, I'm going, do I play into this or not? And the answer is, I can find the information somewhere else if I can find my dad. If I can find my dad, I'll get the answers I need because I already know the questions to ask. <laughs> but that's assuming I find my dad. Fair. So... You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say... He's a businessman! I understand that. location is yours. Very reasonable. <sighs> All right. I... I don't have that. I don't, don't have, have 100, 100 caps. caps. All right, kid. Let me help you out. You know, for all time's sake. If you don't have the cops to pay for the information, then maybe you could do a little favor for me. Nope. Um. So you want me to do your dirty work? Who said anything about dirty work? You need some caps, and I'm giving you a way to get them. It's just business. This junkie bitch named Silver borrowed quite a few caps from me. Claimed she could start funneling Jet and Psycho to me for a good price. Problem is, she scrammed with the loot and set herself up in Springvale so she can inject herself into a stupor. Get the caps she owes me, and they're yours. Yours to pay me with, anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, um. I think you're good. Galaxy mm -hmm. News Radio is some loudmouth radio station located in the ruins of D.C. Three Dog, the king of that loony bin, keeps yapping about fighting some good fight or something. A bunch of crap. But I suppose if you wanted to know what was going on in the wasteland, that's the place to go. Me, I could care less. Okay, um... The wasteland? Why the hell would you want to go out there? Listen to me, lass. Megaton has everything you could possibly need. Why go anywhere else? Stay the fuck out of me business. Don't go where you don't belong and buy your drinks here. That's all you need to know. Right. Yeah. Don't go. Where the fuck am I? Don't belong. Jesus fucking Christ, man. What? Sorry. Like, the guy's like, I get it. Be about your business. Don't go where you don't fucking belong. Mm -hmm. Fine. Where are those parameters? Like, where do I not belong? True, not belonging somewhere. It is a fairly arbitrary. 
I keep these yokels knee deep in booze and poon. They keep me knee deep in caps. It's a fair trade, if you ask me. <clears throat> I own a saloon, kid. Rumors are part and parcel. So I'll give you this one for free. Not sure if you've met her, but Lucy West, that pretty young thing, she's afraid. Of what, of who, I couldn't say. But you can feel the fear on her. All right. That's... Yeah, and we know, yeah, we know yeah. why. Her family's quit writing her. Mm -hmm. She's well, concerned. For so much information. Think about it. It's weird that you can't get out. <laughs> like, you, you can... Well, cause that's like, his... it would make sense getting in. Well, that's his terminal station, so, like... True. That's why. Fair. Like, that makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. There's not much else you can do in here. Um... Make tiny goal. You already talked to Gob. Oh, I know. I'm glad to see you. Moriarty's been especially nasty lately, and I need a friendly face. Um... Mr. Moriarty says we can keep it on. It's a good radio station. I like hearing the DJ, Three Dog, and how he's helping to fight the good fight. If only I was a part of that, instead of being stuck in this dive. What are you... Um... I'm gonna ask him where he came from. Okay. Well, why do you, the police do you keep playing? Like... Never mind. It's a ghoul city down in D.C. I set off up here to find adventure and fortune. And, well, I found this place. I'm sort of stuck here. Colin says that I can't leave until I pay off my debt to him. Of course, he charges me room and board, too. If yeah. you ever get to Underworld, tell Carol that I said hi. Okay. That's what I needed to know. Okay. Because we already asked him about my dad. Yep. And time Later. To so why do you keep like you're you're reacting strangely to the name oh Three Dog? God. Yeah, because it um it's how do I put this? It's tickling my brain. Um, like I think it's got a Celtic Celtic mythological reference, but I can't remember to what. Hmm. Like a that. Oh, it's my time now. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just like, uh, there's some stuff, and I mean, like, Severus is a three headed dog, but mm -hmm. this is something else, and yes, it has to do, I believe it has to do with the goddess of death. But I, because I think, like, she has a chariot or something pulled by three dogs. But I know. I know you can't tell me because you don't. I don't know. You don't know. And that's fine that you don't know. It's just, I'm a little frustrated that I, like, it's a niggling in the back of my brain. Mm -hmm. Knowing three dogs is, it, it's not. Okay. So, now that it's, it, so, sorry. Finish your thought. Uh, it, it's not that it's, and I could be wrong, but once I heard Moriarty and he's an Irishman and then he's not too keen on that particular radio station or the good fight. Mm-hmm. It's just got me... Uh, it, it, it's got a niggle. It's, it, there's, there's something with a name. And I can't quite figure it out. So, uh, we took a minute and uh, looked up what um, the source of Three Dog... And I'm sure most of you already know this by now, but it's really just a nod to um, one of the other characters that that voice actor has played. Yeah, and there are references, just not to three dogs, in, uh, three dogs in particular, yeah. to so Celtic mythology. So go go back down that that ramp, and then there's that door right there. Hi there. Miss. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So there's there's lots of dogs in Celtic mythology. It's just there is no reference of three particular dogs. It's either a singular dog or a pack of dogs. Mm -hmm. There's also a couple of different ones to like Diana or Hecate in Greek mythology. And that might be where I was getting my issues from. Right, so cool. like confusing Celtic mythology with a couple of different like Greek mythologies that I'm fairly familiar with. Just, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Everything in here would be stolen if you took it. Right. So don't, don't do don't, that. Don't. Plus, there's a dude that will kill you if you take things. Like okay. that guy. That's a mercenary. And that's Marlboro. Hey, 
I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. <clears throat> okay. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Um... What you gonna do? If I do this, I can then ask her a lot of questions. Which I don't think my character would mind writing about. The vault. Because F all them. The fuck? It, it helps you a lot, too. Working Great. <gasps> Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life. Or, or to come outside for the first time. Or... Whatever strikes your fancy. Oh, <laughs> uh, I would say it was paradise. But this outside is great. Like, you know, Can't I even see the ceiling. Yeah. Up is indefinite. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't imagine how hard it is to replace that big light bulb up there, too. <laughs> That's great for a forward. Open with a joke and all that. Here, take the suit. Something tells me you might need it. That'll be good for the book. In fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the yes. wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me. With mean, mean words. Oh. Good enthusiasm. Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day to day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Ah. Uh, it's whatever order you want to do it in. Yeah. Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. I don't think I want to do that one right now. You can take your time with it. Yeah. Just be ready to fix you up when you get back. Yeah. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. So 600, what, what's a deadly dose in this game? Like straight More up. More than 600. More than 600. Sure. Okay. Um, okay. Great. Um, okay. All right. Um, oh, can you repair my equipment? Yes. Just gonna, okay. See ya. But yeah. I'd like to actually do something. Yes. In yes. This sorry. Episode. Sorry. Um, so leave town. Now. 
Uh, that's the cassettes. Um, Down. Uh, I know it's the, no. There's there. You were looking at it. There was an up and a down. Go down. Oh. All right, and I can't. You can't do anything with the bomb yet. Yeah. Is there an easier way to? Yeah, there it is. You'll learn. I know. Up again. No. This. Turn. This. There you go. Straight up. Were you just kidding about disarming that thing? No, I wasn't. It's Give just... me a minute. I have to up my skills. All right. Now we can go see what's her face. Yes. I won't break the fucking. But, uh, right. Jesus. Is that? Me? I did not it's, up. It's dead. Yeah. Try the brass. Later. It's the way it works. Is like if it's dead, it'll populate and then ragdoll. Okay. So it'll, it'll set it in the world as it's supposed to be, just right. a few, just like an inch or two off the ground, and then it'll ragdoll. Right. Right. This is the red rocket that Ricardo was talking about. Okay. I believe there's, I think it's Fallout 2 that takes place in Kalamath Falls, Oregon. Okay. Fade fire hydrant. That could be interesting. Yeah. But not right now. Since I already know where this is because of broken game. Yes. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? Uh I'm President John Henry Keaton, and you're listening to Hot Yes, he says you hold some caps. That bastard. He's a... He's a liar. He just wants me dead. Those yes. caps are all mine. I earned them. <sighs> Look, I used to work for that slob doing, you know, favors for guys. Well, I got sick and tired of it. I told Moriarty I'm taking my share of the caps and leaving. I even slept with a pig to seal the deal. Next morning, he tells me I couldn't leave. Mm. So I bolted. I took my money and ran. Now he's branded me a thief and a junkie and sent his cronies to find me. I guess I need a new hiding place. I'm still gonna be nice to her because I, I get it, being trapped in a oh, in yeah. situation. Mm -hmm. So, you do that for me? I can't believe it. You hardly even know me. Thanks, kid. You watch yourself out there. You've earned karma, yay. Yep. <sighs> Everything's a... still stealing. the ceiling. Yes. Out. Once again. Yes. Okay, so now that I've dealt with that, mm -hmm. I can go back to Moriarty or we can explore more. I'd, 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 I'd explore. But You'd just... explore more? Yeah, yeah. Me, me too. I'm kind of like the, uh... What are all deck? I kind of want to rate that, but anyway... That is that is for later off camera thing. Mm -hmm. That's closed down. Yep. Springvale School. So, so. Not much good in there. No, no, that's the spring. But oh, that's the elementary. Let's see. Reading. Night. Uh, school. School board meeting. Okay. And Emily, Emily something. something. Three to two. And no school. So... Early dismissal. Oh, yeah. There we go. Wow. That's 
how boring I am. Let me read what the sign says. <laughs> I have actually never read that sign. You can't get up that stuff. Damn it. Oh. Run. Get away from that. Because that tower is apparently radioactive. Well, there's a big pile of radioactive oh. goop at the bottom of okay. it. Oh, you're oh. being shot at. You're being shot at. There, there are bad guys in the school. Like there. Help me with this Bitch. Way. Oh, you got her. You're hitting the wall. I know. So step away from the wall, goad him out. There you go. Okay. Sorry. You do a. How do I? Like, just crazy zoom in. There you go. There we go. Sorry. Sorry, folks. Uh. That might be good for later. Uh, you can sell it. Okay. The Raider armor is never good. Uh, how about the the tire iron? Better condition than your baseball bat, I think. I don't think it does much damage, though. Yeah. Otherwise, it would have been dead already. Ooh, they got a gun. Yeah. I bet and it's also can... 10 millimeter, so I can sell it, though. Well, you can use that one to repair the one you have. Oh, right. Well, yeah, okay. I don't need that. I don't need the armor. Yeah. Way to go, me. I recommend having an actual gun out for this. <sighs> That's the condition. Yep. Stats. Pretty good. Uh, oh, my head hurts. Heal yourself. How do I do that? So you can either click on a specific... Yeah, you can click on that. There we go. Probably, yeah. yeah. You, you, you're you still at under half health. <sighs> well, I'll fully heal everything. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm at half health. And then, if you just use a stim pack, hit S. S. <sighs> Jesus. Okay. Well. Yeah. Uh, radiation. Is that what's wrong? Okay, no. Rad resistance 10%. What? I'm just like, oh, I suck. Special. Well, you're new, so. Set, yeah. Perks, general, items. Okay, so I have, I have a lot of. See what the, that, that, uh, new... She gave you different armor, or she gave uh, you different right. apparel. Yes, apparel. Um, yeah, that one. Small guns plus five, energy weapons plus five. So it'll, yeah, there you go. It'll make you more proficient yeah. with your, what you got. That doesn't do anything, does it? No. Oh, pre-war baseball cap. Melee weapon plus five. Okay. Tinted reading? There was something for that. Uh, tinted reading glasses. Oh, never mind. Tunnel snake outfit. Plus five. Melee weapon plus two. two plus two, two. two. Okay. I think you're just good with the, yeah. the one you got. Vault security armors. Helmet. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'd say you're good. Okay. All right. Take those. Mm -hmm. Brass knuckles, wonder glue. Okay, I guess it's gonna be. Oh, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know if we're doing it wrong in the comments down below. And we'll see you next time. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Doodle doodle. <laughs>